Now we're going to discuss different types of isomers and the first type are called uh, structural isomers and there are different types of structural isomers as well. So when you deal with structural isomers, what you're dealing with is that the atoms or functional groups are, uh, are joined in different ways. The arrangement around uh, the carbon chain or whatever way the atoms and function groups are arranged, that arrangement is going to be different. Now the first type of structural isomer that's called, uh, it's called, it's called, they call chain isomers now when you're dealing with chain isomers you're going to see that there uh, let's take this example this one is uh, butane so you can see that there's a carbon chain going through it what you're going to do is if you're going to make an isomer of this you're going to create another molecule where the carbon arrangement is going to be different the main chain which is this let's highlight that so i'm talking about this this carbon chain over here so you're going to rearrange that carbon chain differently and one way of doing that is that if you look at this CH3 group over here and let's look at this hydrogen over here what I can do is I can swap the two and change the position so I can rearrange the main carbon chain so without the without the uh, without this ending part the three carbon atoms and I'm going to put this CH3 uh, methyl group in place of this hydrogen over here and I'm going to swap the positions so let's try and do that there are going to be three carbon atoms and there was a methyl group at this point which I'm going to connect at this point over here and in its place I'm going to put hydrogen and let's uh, bring in all the other molecules let's uh, uh, use a different color for them to highlight them so I did not change the other arrangement the only thing I changed, and let's color this blue as well. So the only thing that I changed is the position of the CH3 group. And now you can see that the chain looks different. There are three carbon atoms in a row and there's one carbon chain, one branch that is that is coming out of the main carbon chain. So this this is called branch or chain isomerism, where you, where you alter or rearrange the chain, the carbon chain that a molecule has. Let's try and do another example. So now I have uh, pentane which has five carbon atoms and this over here is the chain of, uh, so this over here is the chain, let's highlight that in, in the red and when I'm, when I'm drawing the chain isomer, I'm going to alter that chain. So one thing I can do is I can take, pick this methyl group from here and swap it with one of the hydrogens from some other part of the chain. I'm going to alter the chain. So let's, uh, take out this hydrogen and let's swap the position of these two groups and let's try and draw the uh, draw the isomer that we came up with so there would be four carbon atoms in the chain um, I'm using the red color to ch uh, to show you which positions I'm altering so the CH3 group the methyl group which was at the end I've I've now attached it to this carbon atom over here and in its place I've uh, taken hydrogen which was replaced from that position and I've taken it and uh, put it at the end now uh, let's draw the other atoms and their position I did not touch so they are exactly the way they were before so here are all the carbon atoms so this here is one of the chain isomers or structural isomers of pentane that I drew over here. Now looking at the second isomer what I can do is I can rearrange uh, the carbon chain again once more. So you can see this this carbon over here which is uh, this methyl group um, attached at the end. I can substitute that and replace that with the hydrogen. So I can what I can do is I can take this out and substitute it with the hydrogen that is over here so I can swap the position of these two so let's uh, try and draw our, thir our third isomer of pentane so uh, let's draw the rest of the molecule so there were three carbon atoms and there was one carbon below and let's draw uh, our, the changes that we made in red so over here I brought in a CH3 group and in its place I put put a hydrogen in its place so I replaced the two positions 
and let's complete the other molecules uh, the rest of the bonds we did not touch we did not change the rest of the bonds so they're all there and there would be two hydrogens. remember you need to be you need to draw correct structures remember always that carbon makes four bonds hydrogen only makes one bond and you must have a correct structure so this over here the molecule that I've drawn over here is another isomer of pentane which where we started off so we've uh, come up with three isomers of pentane all of them are isomers of each other what you would also notice is that all these isomers although they have the same number of atoms and the same number of atoms of different elements uh, the arrangement is different but they're all also going to have they're all uh, because they're different molecules they're going to have different names as well so the first one over here we're going to try and name all these three isomers so we know that this is pentane because there are five carbon atoms in a row and it's an alkane so this is simply this is simply pentane with five carbon atoms but if you go to the second isomer over here, if this second isomer it has a total of four carbon atoms in a row that means that the main chain is is butane it's not pentane and there is a carbon branch that is coming out of the second carbon atom over over here so this over here is the second carbon atom remember you count from the side uh, you're going to come from this side which is going to give you a smaller number so so it's, it's attached on the second carbon atom so there's a methyl group attached on the second carbon atom so the name of this molecule is going to be 2-methylbutane with a methyl attached on the second carbon atom of butane and coming to this third isomer let's try and name this as well you're going to see that uh, the main chain has three carbon atoms in a row and there are there are two branches coming out of the main chain so your main chain it only has three carbon atoms so that's uh, that would be propane so that is propane and the two branches both of them are methyl branches so this is methyl over here remember meth has one carbon atom so this is also methyl and they're both attached on the second carbon atom of the main chain so it's going to be two two both methyl groups are going to have two position so it's going to be two two dimethyl propane and let's do one more example of chain isomerism. So I've uh, I've drawn this molecule. It's a it's a pentanol molecule. It has five carbon atoms and it has an OH functional group. And I've highlighted the carbon chain in red. So you could it it could be shown clearly what I'm doing over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter the arrangement of this carbon chain. So uh, let's start doing that. So I'm going to have I had five carbon atoms. What I what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one carbon instead. I'm going to make a branch out of one of the carbon atoms. So I'm, I now have four carbon atoms in a row. And there's one carbon atom coming out of this second uh, carbon over here. So, so there's one branch coming out of it. So I've, I've altered the chain. So, so this would result in chain isomerism and keeping the rest of the molecule exactly the same. So the rest of the molecule exactly the same. So I had an OH over here and I had hydrogens over here each carbon atom making four bonds whereas this carbon atom is going to have three hydrogen atoms attached to it so you can count the number of atoms and they're going to be exactly the same there would be there would be five carbon atoms in total uh, there would be 12 hydrogens in total and there would be one oxygen so the arrangement or the connectivity of the atoms is now different these two are isomers of each other the structural isomerism or more specifically chain isomerism because i only altered this chain this carbon chain that i am showing in red over here so this carbon chain is now altered so these two molecules are separate molecules they are isomers of each other and the name of the second molecule is going to be it's going to be 2 methyl butanol because the main chain over here now has four carbon atoms and there's a methyl branch coming out of it so the name of the molecule also changes and here I've drawn a second isomer a chain isomer of the same molecule pentanol and you can see 
that uh, again I've altered the arrangement of the carbon chain. Now there are three carbon atoms in a row and there are two carbon atom branches coming uh, from the middle carbon atom. So, so the arrangement of the carbon atoms, the main chain is different in this molecule and the rest of the atoms are, are the same, the OH position is the same. So, um, and I've completed, uh, completed all the bonds of this uh, molecule. It still has five carbon atoms. So the number of carbon atoms are still five and there are 12 hydrogen atoms and there's a single oxygen atom and the name of this molecule is going to be it's going to be uh, dimethyl uh, propanol because your main chain now contains three carbon atoms and on the second carbon atoms there are two methyl groups attached so you can either call it 2,2-dimethyl propanol or just dimethyl propanol